No, all right. Hi, everybody. This is the Gear Swap Podcast. Hello, hello, hello. We are running behind. I've um, made some pretty impressive audio errors this week. <laughs> By trying to make it better, I definitely fucked it up. Well, it's 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 a learning process. It, oh, you can't hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. It's a learning process. Well, Christian couldn't hear me. That's what I meant. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's okay, though. We'll get through it. We'll figure it out. Trial and error, baby. Trial and error. Yes, it is. Hi, everyone. Hello. I hope we are coming across uh, free and clear. Christian, you have a dedicated channel. Uh, go ahead and... Oh, it's it's not sending your stuff. Hold on. Pause. Birdie, carry the show. Hello. How is everybody? Please type about your days. Um, I'm doing pretty well. Um, still... Christian, they can't hear you right now. Still working on, um, you know, finishing that school thing, but we don't have to talk about that. That's pish posh. We'll get there when we get there. Oh, I know why. Remember that thing um, I told you where I needed to do someone to remind me to put them on the channel? Oh, do you didn't do that? No, didn't do it. Nice, babe. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Now they can hear you. All right. Nice. Love that. Well, anyways, as I was saying about myself. No, I'm kidding. There is I don't six have that much to say. Watching. Things are good. Things are good, you know? Yeah. Oh. Uh, all right. So at the beginning of the show this week, hello to everybody that's here. Thank you for coming out. This is week 42. Of the Gear Swap podcast, coming to you live from the Casa de Brats and Birdie and Christian. Mm -hmm. We have a fun show for you tonight. Last week, you guys unlocked some giveaway. So we will be doing a giveaway in the show today at some point. Mm -hmm. Uh, Out there in the chat, I see Natalie and Christian are mods hanging out. Liana, Dan, Waken, and Wavy are also on the chat. Hello. Excuse me. Uh, sorry if I don't on? see you yet, um, but those are the users that I see in the chat, so that's all that matters. The, yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hopefully, we'll get some more people in here eventually for some more interaction. Yeah, totally. At least I remembered to start the recording this week. Nice. Good job. Yeah. It's all of our technical difficulties again. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I, I <laughs> severely complicated the way the stream is set up this week. Yeah. Which is, long term, it'll be a good thing because now I have... God, I hope I don't make your ears bleed. Uh, now I have access to just queuing Guess up. what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! On, on the fly. Like, I could pick which one I want. Love that. Uh, you guys didn't hear that. That was coronavirus. Um, <laughs> coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> actually, Birdie, I could... Uh, could I? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. I should just think about it. I was just thinking about it. Anyway. I ain't gonna do it. That should be on the list. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, so it's been an interesting week. Not gonna lie, we've had a busy week. We did a lot of D and D. Well, I did a lot of D and D. Um, we did some anniversarying this weekend. We did. We ate did. some delicious food, which was amazing. Oh, it was very good. Uh, what else did we do? It was delicious. Yeah, it was. Birdie went out and bought some expensive ass steaks. <laughs> I did. I did that. Yeah. What is up, Mitchell? How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Hello there. Um, what else did What's we do? What's going on? We did. Oh, we're building EDH commander decks. Yeah, we are. I re I reorganized my desk area over here, so now uh, Milo no longer has a resting spot. His spot is now behind the monitor where he likes to hide, anyways. Um, His favorite. Spot. Yeah, I added some more storage. This is the culprit of our tech problems today. We got this oh Ableton God, controller. Yeah, it's a lot. So that controller is a digital controller. Hey, hey, Mitch got upgraded to an affiliate. Congrats, man. Nice. That's a big deal. It's fucking sick, you can now, mate. You can now get subs once you get that all set up. Love that. I'm going to go sub to him later. Nice. Just donate five bucks. Hell yeah. 
Um, Love that, man. What else did we do? I, I'm realizing Speaker. that where the digital mixer is great for doing like pre-recorded and drop-ins and and being able to do stupid thing like just dropping a Kirby or Enthusiasm theme in randomly. <laughs> um, it's not good for live audio. We do not support what was just said in our chat. Hold mm-hmm. on. I can I can I can not support that very well. <laughs> but definitely go sub to him. Just don't just don't take subs away from us. But definitely sub to him though. You know, share the love, but like equally, we will, bro. We get, equally. We, get, we will get the Bezos bucks and we'll give him <laughs> Stop. the other yeah. <laughs> Not him being timed out. <laughs> It's only a second. <laughs> oh, that's rude. No, we love you, Frankenstein. Absolutely. Please, please go over, sub to him, support his channel, follow, donate, a biddies, lot of Pokemon. <laughs> do all that shit. Yeah. Um, Man's a crazy trainer. Absolutely. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. I'm not gonna do it. What are you doing? I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I was just thinking about it, girl. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> That's what's the mood for like the last three days. I feel like I did it. I did it. Um. Yeah. No, Mitch. We'll we'll talk after the show or off stream or something. I got uh, maybe some potential news for you, so that'll be fun. Um. Clap, anyways, clap. yeah, clap clap. So back to what I was talking <laughs> about with the mixer. So horrible for live audio as we found out in the pre-show when we did our audio check Mm -hmm. i did the hi this is chris and i am getting a (laughs) delayed feedback in my ear um the audio was like 300 milliseconds delayed and if you've ever experienced that app on your phone it's called like the uh uh the the voice hack or the ear hacks thing where it like just delays your voice enough where you can't Can't speak. speak yeah um that's what happened to me. That's mad trippy. So we, I was talking and like pretty noticed it too. I was like, yeah, it was like I was getting molasses in my mouth. So uh, we have moved the live audio off of the mixer and back into the computer. Um, so that's coming over in real time. Um, I'm going to have to mess with this system again because there's got to be a better way to set this up. I just have to figure it out. Mm, yes. Um, but I think that's enough for me. I've talked for about 10 minutes now. Uh Birdie, how was your week? I just said that when I was stalling. But oh, you stalled? It's okay, never mind. Good. It's been fine. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing I always do. I'm doing pull. I'm stretching. I'm uh, doing school. Um, I'm looking for jobs now. Uh, yeah. That's, I don't have any water. I'm adulting, you know, this stuff. So that's is my life. This is what I do. Um, that's pretty much it, though. That's like the short and long. Christian, send it in over to you. So, so basically, I just ate this entire cup of candy, and love that. That's self care. It's great. Take right? care and of like, yourself. I got all this candy from James's going away party. Um. Oh, so, nice. oh yeah, I went to James's going away party. Cool. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss it. No, oh no! Which one it is? <laughs> what is one? it? Correct. <laughs> yeah, y'all really out here yes, playing the game, is. huh? I don't Corona understand that. Is. We were also invited to that party. I respectfully declined for multiple reasons, but mainly because I was not trying to get sick. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Understandable, of course. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I just found out Cyberpunk coming out t- tonight. T- tonight. Tomorrow? Really? Tomorrow? Really? Yeah. That's your shining. Apparently, I there's That's people strange. already streaming it. Oh, like, sick! Hasn't that been happening for a while though? Not like a super long time, but it's like, already out. It's already out. Apparently, it's already out. Oh, and um, there you go. We I bet. can't stop it. I can't stop it. Um, can't stop what's it called? So <laughs> tomorrow, my sound bite kept playing. When I get oh, <laughs> sound bite. Sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow when I get paid for the first time from this new job, I'm gonna buy Cyberpunk, so that'll be fun. Nice. Um, if uh, my Switch yearly subscription to online just renewed, so gonna play more Mario Kart. Ooh, love that, love that, love that. So love much that. fun. I just thought of something. 
What do you think? You it just, I, I have some other good news. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, try not to dox on. myself here. Not to what? Not dox myself. Mm -hmm. oh. Not to dox himself. Christopher, must you? Okay, this is happening. So <laughs> he's very proud of himself. I've been working really hard on my finances. Boomer, you and <laughs> and I have, I am now the, the the happy owner of of this, which if I can get it close to the microphone, uh, I don't know what. Oh, it's oh, metal. You can't really hear it, but yes. Y'all are so funny. I can tell. All right. <laughs> I got myself a. Uh, all right. Got myself a new fancy. <laughs> this is from all the money I spent at iCombat. Now I get a metal credit card. <laughs> That yo, uh, oh, I'm a big metal. kid. Oh, the dream, God. yeah, the dream has been lived. Love that, love that. All right, nice, awesome. So uh, I think we should uh, we should I give a little bit of a. Hi, my <laughs> <laughs> What's the back look like? What's the back look like though? But what does the back look like though? Yeah, no, that, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> The back looks like it has all my uh, my my good information on it. Um, so for all of the guys and the folks and the peoples that are here early, uh, we're going to do the giveaway right now. Yay! Oh, we're going to so play let me the giveaway. Oh, okay. Let's create a giveaway. It's hard. That's what she said. Period. <laughs> Hey, friend. I just had a Chick Fil A ad. Yo, somebody get Chick Fil A shit off our fucking channel. Why is there a ch why their ads are turned off on the pre roll? That's not what we want. <laughs> I'm like purposely giving away the the 15 cents of pre roll ads I get every month. Somebody I turn those off. Better tell Chick Fil A to stay the fuck off our stream. Period. All right, so this is. I this one is gonna take a while. Another fucking street. This one's gonna take a while. We're uh we're gonna build some. Uh, we're going to build some engagement here. So we are going to be doing a giveaway similar to the one we did last time. You guys got to figure out what the random number is. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. You're not avail You're not eligible to win. No, no, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you're not eligible to win. <laughs> no, because if you win, then we have to do it again because we can't give it to you, Christian. You a hope. That's even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Christian is like, I'm creating content gold here. Just say like, thank you. I am. <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> I'm creating conflict slash content. So. <laughs> All right. Fern is already guessing. Like, come on. <laughs> 12. <laughs> Love that. All right. It has started. Between five and eight hundred. All right, have fun, guys. Have fun it's spamming that chat. Not one from one to a thousand. Like we can... <laughs> the best part is I don't even know what the number is. Six six six. Yeah. I wish six eight nine. Um, seven 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 four six nine. I couldn't even like. This seems like it's gonna take so long. It might. I mean, hey, people are just going to be engaging the entire time. What if it's 501? I mean, we did 1 to 100 last time, and I think it took 4 minutes. So There you go. Yeah. Love that. All right. Well, well that runs. <laughs> Run it. Let us uh, talk about... What do we want to talk about this week? I'm not doing any top 10s until, uh, until we get more consistent uh, people going out. So yeah, it's a little rough right now. I feel like so. So if we want to do a, uh, why are you headbutting me, you dork? I'm gonna headbutt you right back. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, do we want to uh, want to take some questions from the chat? Okay, sir, you can't be headbutting my mouse. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll take some some comments from the chat. Maybe we'll talk about some some other fun things i don't really know what to talk about yeah it feels so like it's hard i feel like especially for the three of us like we're so disconnected from the laser tag community right now that it's like it's difficult to yeah you know what i'm gonna do i am going to milo you're sitting right where i need to work dude i feel like we should start doing like more community building stuff again like playing game nights and stuff you know that would be very Where fun we, we should like come that. and hang out and start doing like party games and whatever again like we, Jack Ooh, this stuff. is actually interesting if you're looking at the we chat we got a bunch Jack of people we have a bunch of people counting up and down uh -huh. and they're all going at different numbers interesting so they're kind of like going in order counting uh-huh yeah it's gonna be interesting to see who finds it first anyways 
126 attempts have been made. Hey, you guys have guessed uh, six, seven, eight. You've guessed a third of the available numbers. Nice. Nice. Anyway, so, yeah, some more community stuff would be good, I think, because I think a lot of people are just, like, staying home or busy, you know, grinding, making money, doing what they have to do to literally stay alive right now. It's difficult mm -hmm. for everybody, so... Um, I think just ways that we can keep in contact and um, keep our connection strong outside of just, you know, playing laser tag is like important, especially for people who literally just can't at the moment. It's not right. like an option. So, uh, yeah, I think the podcast might be taking a little bit of a, a chiller detour or scheduled programming from laser tag just because we've kind of come up and passed our, our big like... I guess like tournament for the year and all that stuff. So fun tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know I, I said I wasn't going to go over top tens, but I am loading them up really quick just to see. I'll, I'll, I'll list out the top five at the locations that are open. Let that. That's good. Sure. Yeah. I'll just do a quick little, little jibber jab. Snip it. Yeah. Little blurb. Little pot shot. Oh, <laughs> Sure. All right, first one that came up is the all location. Well, let's just do the top 10 for the all location. So, uh, 10th place is Wildfire Pew. <laughs> is it me? Am I 10th place? You might be. Nice. Wildfiery Pubes. Nice. Bunbury, Western Australia. Nice. KDR of 149. Mental fist bump to that. Ninth place is Mac 20, 38,000 points with a KDR of 243. Eighth place in the world, maximum effort from Western Australia, thirty-eight thousand with a one twenty-two KDR. Who Mac? On fucking Australia, bro. Dude, Western Australia and them, they like don't have restrictions anymore. Did they just open up a location, or if they always had? No, they've had a location open for a while. Wow, we gotta get out to Australia. That was <laughs> so bad. To we gotta win. Go away, Michigan. Stop, <laughs> Mitchell. Breaking by Mitch again? <laughs> Come on! Me. I actually didn't stop guessing this time. Like nice, me. bro. Nice. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. Yeah. Six ninety one. It looks like was the number. Nice. I was man. working my way up the sixes too. Like we can't. Yeah. So I went from uh, six hundred to six forty seven before he won. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Frankenstein, I will get in touch with you and hook you up with a free game. Good job, dude. Way Congrats. to be consistent. Way to be in there. Hacks. <laughs> EA, it's in the game. So, yeah. yeah. And, there you go. Win. <laughs> and now we are no, named. No. No. I feel like I should put on some lo-fi hip-hop in the background. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'll do it. Ooh, yes. Vibe. That's five. Can I, will I be able great. to hear it from over here? I know. Amazing. No. You said no? No, it's only in my head. Boom. Awesome. That's cool. I can hear it through the, the stream, though, so. Oh, there you go. All right. Congratulations, Frankenstein, on another good win. Uh, if we get some more subs and donations, we will hit you guys up with another one. We need to do... We need to get some money coming in in order to do that. So thank you guys for coming out. Let's get back to that top 10 list. Uh, seventh place is Louis Zavidian from Dubai with a 2.10 KDR. <laughs> Sixth place is Delirium from Waukesha with 47,000 points and a 353. Noise. <laughs> Fifth place is Scumbag Lenny. Look at the Frankenstein. He's going to do some regifting of his, his uh, free game. Uh, scumbag Lenny, 49,000 points with a 218 KDR. Core from Lenny. Dubai with 54,000 and a 287 KDR. Third place is Sniper17 from Waukesha, nice. 59,000 and a 319 KDR. Second place is Jay Woodland, 67,000 with a 192 KDR. And first place for the week in the entire world is Frog Champ, 68,000 points and a 4.11 KDR. Is nobody playing in Michigan right now? Uh, Michigan. Skin is still open. It's just surprising that none of them are on the I know. list. I know. I know they're uh, open some... because Thermit and them said that they went there when or they go there now and play. That's yeah. why they don't make the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's check it out though. Um, 
It's just because usually at least one or two of them are on there. Oh, that might be why. Maybe because they they played in multiple locations and also. Oh, actually, yeah. So. Uh, I just pulled up the Michigan Eye Combat for the last seven days, and it actually is. A, we'll go through Michigan's for the last seven days, okay? Okay. Uh, tenth Shall place we? with Hogs. Ninth place was Egg Thrower. Oh. Eighth place was Ballsy. Key. Mm -hmm. Seventh place was Paintballer. Sixth place was Meth Morrow. Fifth place was Lean from Waukesha. Mm -hmm. Fourth place is Dark Sniper. Mm -hmm. Third place is Delirium. Mm -hmm. Second place was Scumbag Lenny. Mm hmm. And first place was Frog Champ. Wow. Not them going to Michigan shitting on them. Kidding. Sounds Kidding. like they played the I'm sure they were probably weekend. barely there or yeah. something. So. Very cool. Possibly. Possibly. Nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, congrats. Nice job going out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the field. I hope we to good trip, good show trip. up and show out. I can't wait until I can fuck this place. Stand back and like stand that. by. Ooh. No, we don't quote that here. Oh. Sorry. We, we don't do that here. We don't do that. It was funny yesterday when I said it. No. Well, that was kind of funny. Helps when you play all the sessions. It actually it didn't help when the scouts played all the sessions, but hey, who's talking? Uh, the girl Hannah has yeah. a boyfriend. He's not. Sorry. <laughs> Got <it. laughs> You're what kind of who? My my friend, she like she was having this like issue, not issue, but like a thing with a guy where like they both clearly had feelings for each other, but nobody was like saying the obvious thing. And she was like, I'm nervous, but I want to say something. And we were all like, girl, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Just say some shit. And if it doesn't go over well, like, there you go. The um, proof is in the pudding. Gotcha. But she said it. And obviously, because she's not stupid, like they feel the same way about each other. And now. They're official, and we love to see it. Like Facebook official? No, like get, shut the fuck. Okay, if it's All right. not Facebook official, there we are. Okay. That. Oh, they got to meet the tactical Santa. That's great. I love it. Tactical Santa. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Was he Judge Dread? <laughs> there you go. Oh, so anybody in the chat, uh, I am open to pretty much talking to anybody at this point. Yeah, um, I'm noticing that my microphone's coming across a little hot right now, so I'm going to turn that down just a bit. Okay. Um, what do you guys want to talk about tonight? Uh, we'll leave this kind of show up to you. Oh, man, it's up to the viewers. I'm not going to shotgun questions out of my brain again. Yep. Uh, oh wait, maybe I can. Just give me a couple seconds. What are we doing? Are we just doing questions again? Yeah, we're just gonna like talk questions to the chat, see what's again. going on. Again. And I heard Ooh. they met Tactical Santa. Excuse me. That's uh, that's Country Classics uh, outfit. Tactical Santa. You didn't see it in the group. In the Discord. No. Go to the general channel in the Discord. Not me not keeping up with the Discord and missing out. I just opened Zoom by accident. I am illiterate. Love that for me. <laughs> I can't Ooh, be. That's actually a fun topic. Uh, Fern says talk to the COVID vaccine. You want us to talk point. about political shit on a that's fucking political? Lead? It's political now. I mean, <sighs> it's uh, I mean no, the COVID no. vaccine is awesome. Uh, as soon as the FDA it? approves it, yeah, it totally is. It's already been approved. The FDA it hasn't been approved for use in the U.S. yet. Oh, in the U.S. In the U.K. it has. People um, in the U.K. were like, "Yo, don't use it if you have like severe allergic reactions to things." Also, like allergic to what? Sodium? They just said like it could react badly for you. Mm, there's like nothing dangerous in it. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up the article. Since we're getting into oh, this. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, now here it comes. <laughs> Let's be technically like, yeah. correct, ladies oh, and yeah. gentlemen. Like, the, oh, there's only like three in there that are like potentially have any allergy allergies. Like, I think if I remember correct off the top of my head, like obviously water is an ingredient. There's sodium chloride. Mm -hmm. There is sucrose, which is sugar. Uh, there's two different forms of. Oh, Canada authorized fat. it too. Oh, Canada approved it. 
Uh, Canada authorizes Ooh. COVID-19 vaccine for Pfizer. Yep. Okay, that's good. Um, the only ingredient in there that's like has anything to do with your body is the RNA strand, which codes for the spike proteins. Okay, well, hold on. Let me try to find this article because it seemed interesting. I read some of it, but like I can't regurgitate the facts. So why to God. that? If you link me to Breitbart, I'm going to come across this desk like a spider monkey. It's a real fucking news source. Right? Spider monkey. Um, I saw your comment, Mitch, about Pokemon. The answer is potentially in the future. I sent um, my friend Joe in case you want to do some raids. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, alright. I got that Pokemon shield. Sure. <laughs> We've got uh, got a couple of people. Mm. I see some more people. Oh, here we go. Let's check out the chat to see who else. Oh, he said, "Here up. we go," or she said, "Here we go." Hold Dang. on, hold on, hold Ooh, on. That means here we go. What did you? Say? What? In the meantime... Dude, Nintendo screwed all of the fighting community over on Smash. I know! I mean, that's a topic oh we can talk about pretty good for a while. Freaking... Ugh, oh, damn! Man. Christian's chucking bottles across the room. Freaking... Like, why, why, why? Why would you deny the game to be played in tournaments? Because Masahiro Sakurai said himself, it's a party game. It's not to be meant to be taken that seriously. But you know, Bruh. we have we still have people counting frames. We still have people like trying to memorize every character like the back of their hand. We still yeah, I have... mean that's what's gonna happen when you build a good game. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I heard There's about a... that. What's up, bird? So this is like a super like not really rooted evidence at all it's literally just like people have gone into anaphylactic shock but it's like three people or something mm, it's like not three people yeah it's like not really based in anything like severe but they're saying like hey if you have like pre-existing um issues with like allergies to medicines maybe don't rush to get the vaccine because you might go into shock which is kind of scary but no whatever I'm a healthcare worker. I get first dibs. <laughs> Love that for you. I was gonna say, I'm about to, like, take the virus and then, like, uh, what's it called? Give an update on my day-to-day -day through video and then, like, see how that goes. Uh, if that were, if, like, so, like, I can guinea pig this thing. Actually. Uh, yeah, so it's not a bad thing at all. It's called magic, Mitch. It's magic. It's what magic. happens when you get subs on your channel. You get to teleport across the world. And, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! So I found, I got the, I got the, if anyone cares, I have the ingredient list. And four of the ingredients are sucrose, mm. sodium chloride, potassium chloride, potassium phosphate, and sodium phosphate dihydrate, which are all yeah. basic salts. Those That's are a fine. Lot of basic then salt. you have cholesterol. You lost me, then you had me. <laughs> cholesterol. <laughs> there are three uh, fat molecules that will suspend all of the RNA and protect it. No and way. then it's literally it just the now. RNA. What's your point with this? Oh, nothing. I'm just saying there's nothing in there that's dangerous. There's... Well, that's not the point, though. All right. Nothing. All right. I'm going to watch. Is that, Anyways. Is that on the stairs. On. I mean, like, if you're just going to say that it's not base, then just say that instead of reading the ingredient list, because clearly that's what you're saying. Wait, what? <sighs> it's not what? Use. It's Like, it's not, not based evidence. That the vaccine is dangerous. Yeah, it's probably just random chance that people had issues. Okay, well then, there you go. Just say that. Yeah. All right. So it was random chance. Yeah. But like, it doesn't. Okay, sure. It. 
It's low but never zero. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's like my cat killing that me. That type of thing. Um, dang. Trying to come so. up with some cool questions here. Um, uh, because I just threw out if anyone plays Smash as, for fun, I for, completely forgot the topic that Nintendo screwed over the fighting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like that was like one of the biggest tournaments at Evo every year. It is. <laughs> and like, is. like, I'm not going to lie. It was like, it's I've never gotten good at playing Smash. Okay, Neither this is interesting. But the... The overall, like, ability of people that are good at Smash, like, is pretty impressive. I mean, it's a, such a... It's such a simple game at its base. But, like, if you time well and you know what people do in, like, ranges and stuff, like, you'll never lose. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's it called? Um, so there's a... I also heard about the controversy of... There's this one pro Smash player. So he decided to take... Like, I don't know, the frame reader type thing that they use for Smash. Yeah. He incorporates it into other fighting games and then uses it as data for other fighting games. But then he got a bunch of backlash out of it because, like, apparently not a lot of people in other fighting games do that. But Oh, interesting. <clears throat> what are we talking yeah. about right now? Uh, Smash Brothers. Smash and Melee. fighting games and counting and frame data and all yeah. that. Okay. like frame perfect moves and counters and stuff yeah there's yeah, there's someone like... that's studying all the frames to like a t mm -hmm. and yeah i know like one of the one of the impressive things that evo was always like having the commentators be like <laughs> like the guy's in the middle of a combo and he's like all right coming up here he's gonna have a five frame window where he's gonna be able to have to execute this combo to keep it going interesting and yeah then, like, they like drop the juggle in the corner like <laughs> yeah exactly exactly like uh, someone's Ape... getting comboed and then somehow they just air dodge out of the way and then it's like oh man he turned yeah. that air dodge like, so perfectly they missed that only five had, like, frames and if you're three like three and a half to four frames to get out of there yeah and that's like a sixth of a second for like if you don't understand how games work typically okay so that's, country uh, classic that's here's the wild. thing about apex so team hand banana is right here right now and <laughs> we still haven't played again we got, our, we got our w we're like well i guess we retire <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> retire on a good note <laughs> what's going on bird huh what's going on bird i'm just doing more research on it that's oh, cool because uh, i'm curious did you find like, anything more interesting yeah like, what'd you find or like I find anything super interesting i was just doing like r relative research um instead of like uh like covid based research and just seeing like what the uh statistics are for people who have uh like get symptoms like severe symptoms when getting vaccines for other things or have been vaccinated and experienced like having um anaphylactic shock when getting vaccines and it's a thing that happens it's not unheard of like at all um but it's very rare so like it's it's not something that's like surprising by any means but like basically like if you have very severe allergies like chances are it could be dangerous oh cool yeah um, but it is kind of an issue because, um, in the meeting that they're going to have, they're probably going to have to discuss the fact that it happened. And, um, with the amount of people who are already wanting to be against, uh, the vaccine for no other reason than being against it, um, it's definitely leverage because they can literally just argue that people who have an EpiPen shouldn't take the vaccine, which is literally like millions of Americans, like carry epinephrine because a lot of people have allergic reactions that are heightened to certain things um and can impact your breathing etc cetera, etc cetera. but that doesn't mean that you can't get a vaccine like it's very again rare but like it's a very good case for arguing like pushing back the release date in america which is like something that apparently we're doing so um it's not looking great for us but it's really not that big of a deal in general it seems hmm. cool yeah um all right uh let's see here we got some comments here so apex legends i would love to play some more um it's a fun game i love oh, fuck. we'll get to that one in a second bird yeah um i love the play style of it it's great 
Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a good game, Christian. We gotta play sometime. You were like never free at the same time. That's the problem. I know. Like the only time we have is like Wednesdays for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. this is, is interesting. Out, out of all the oh, what'd you find? Okay, so I'm reading some more article. Um. Unlike some vaccines, this one doesn't have any preservatives or egg products, which is yeah. apparently common in vaccines. Yeah. So, like, that's why they're saying that it should be even less common with this vaccine, that anybody should go in the anaphylactic track. I mean, obviously, it still happened, but, like, it's just another yeah. quick fun fact. Yeah, there's no none of the, like, stabilizers to keep a... Like, the big difference is, like, most vaccines utilize dead... Oh. viruses or weakened viruses so you still have to technically keep them alive while they're in the vaccine anyways yeah go ahead one thing that is kind of interesting to note though is that in the larger u.s trials of the vaccine um people who have had severe allergic reactions were almost completely um avoided as being people to test the vaccine so there's no way of us knowing how it actually affects them based on our trials which is really frustrating but all right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I who has seen a legitimate question after all who that? Who has seen ATHF? <laughs> I used to watch ATHF all the time. What? Oh, yeah. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, I so can't so remember funny. most of the lines anymore. I just wanted to say that Codename Kids Next Door absolutely fucks. That show is incredible. One. Uh, two, I always vote Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. A yep. fantastic show. That show also incredible. Um, nice. I don't Scooby Doo, obviously a classic we love. Oh man, Scooby Doo all day, every day. Forever. That's something right there. Um, educational, cultural reset. We love Scooby Doo. Um, I like Rugrats. Rugrats, we love absolutely. Rugrats, incredible. Oh, the Proud Family. That shit slap slap also a cultural reset um oh my god cheese Nick, i like chocolate milk god dang i like chocolate milk oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> uh, all right so that was my two cents okay <laughs> i threw in like a bunch of more random stuff oh yeah oh yeah how do you how do you adjust to left-handed players or left-handed like dominant just area? Shoot the gun. Just shoot the gun. I right. never. Yeah, that like, was simple. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never switched my play. It's I just lean back and shoot. Fine. I'd probably be better if I could shoot with both hands, but eh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I try it every now and then if I'm like having a good session. <laughs> Like, yeah i don't know i see like i see people that are able to shoot with both hands and if you're really good at it it's it's fine um but like my i can't what i'll do is instead of changing hands if i really need to like have my gun on the other shoulder instead of like firing off of the right shoulder buttstock i'll just keep my hands in the same spot and then just bring the gun over to my left and lean left yeah so my hands are still in the same spot i'm just changing the shoulder which is fine for me i usually don't have to do that but it's possible usually yeah usually just maneuver around and find another way but... right yeah <laughs> ben 10 is oh ben 10 yo so you guys all grew up with different cartoons than i did well say some of yours i mean well, yeah. i watched like rugrats and what do you and looney tunes i know looney tunes like, is great yeah Tom i mean but the, one, the episodes i watched like, like you couldn't put on tv anymore oh uh, what's it called um oh. doug that was Doug's great great. Um, great oh what the hell rocco's modern life oh rocco's oh rocco's like just casually having a kids cartoon where the main character works at a fucking sex line come on now animaniacs thank you another great yes. one yakko yes. wacko and dot 
Angry Beavers was pretty good too. Angry. That one tragically didn't get enough uh, episodes though. That one was canceled way too quickly. Like all the Nicktoons from like the early nine, early mid nineties. Mm, delicious. delicious. No, it's all pizza. about the Jetsons, bro. Dude, Jetsons was good. Jetsons, Jetsons good. okay. Jetsons was fine, but like the whole Hanna Barbera universe really suffered when they started making the new cartoons because they all basically felt like Flintstones in different genres. Like Flintstones was so good and then like the Jetsons was basically Flintstones in space. So, yeah. And uh, oh man, I just started a new show called Mindhunter. Mm. It's cool. It's a show about interviewing serial killers and why they did what they did. Oof. Ooh, uh, Danny Phantom. That's a that's a well, let's not Danny. give serial killers any more popularity. They deserve to rot in jail. As uh, they should. But yeah, no, that's probably a good show. Oh, the remake of MacGyver with the young kid that plays MacGyver. Yeah, it's great. I don't have regular TV anymore, but when I was when I did, it was good. It's much more scientific. Mm, what else? What else is there? All right. Four cool. seasons of Rick and Morty. That's you, Bird. Yeah. Yep, I saw all. Four I'm gonna need you to seasons, bend bro. over and shove it really up in there. <laughs> What's this? Anybody keep up with SpaceX? SpaceX? Yeah. What's that? What, what are they talking about? Their rocket exploded today. With a Falcon? I don't know what it's called. No way. They have names? Yeah, the Falcon 9. It's the one they've been using Yo. for like two years now. <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's literally, that's how it is. The, the title is uh. SpaceX Starship Test Flight Ends in Massive Fireball. Oh, it's the Starship? Okay, that's a different ship. But Musk, Musk says it was still a success. Uh, I mean, yeah, you blow up a couple rockets before you get it right. Well, yeah. Wait, how come this isn't on my... Oh, wait, there it is. Elon Musk. Fuel header tank pressure low during bin. Sorry, you guys were like, come up with and I was like, let's go to the news. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anybody cares. If I'm space right, action. I think this is that new stainless steel ship that they're testing. Interesting. Yeah, they, um, they're they're working on rockets now to get to Mars, and they've kind of gone back in history. Why are they trying to do that again? They're trying to be the first people to send humans to Mars and back. For what? Science. Science. See if I'm not gonna start. Why do we go to the moon? There. To get a microwave. Girl, don't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's it's actually okay. Mini science rant. So, going from rockets that went to space to the moon, they changed material from like steel to aluminum because it was a lot less heavy but it doesn't have enough structural strength to hold enough fuel to get past the moon basically so what they've had to do is now that our engineering is better they've had to go back to using steel so this new spaceship they're rebuilding out of stainless steel but they also have to like reinvent all the engine and te tech for it because the engines that they're using aren't made for the heavier frames so, and the old engines oh. that were used to made were all done by hand. So like they have the plans and the drawings, but everything was tweaked at every single step manually. So they have to like reinvent the wheel basically. Um, at least they got it off the pad. That's pretty cool. Anyways. Anyways, another question. I combat question. <laughs> another question from Christian. Yeah, another question from Christian. Wow. Tonight on Christian's questions. <laughs> what um, that? Uh, Ooh, we got wait, a new, we got a new segment oh, here. No. Oh my god! I didn't man. like that show. To be quite honest, it made me uncomfortable. Camp Laszlo, nah, bro. You know what show made me uncomfortable? Flapjack. That was like Flapjack so. Flapjack was a weird was one, a... but I kind of fucked Chowder and Flapjack. Same Chowder. situation there, but I liked both of them. I can get behind them. Cool. Yeah. Chatter was cool. Dude, I like the idea Maybe of the 14. Food. I like food. Adventure time. Adventure time. Come on, oh, fans. man. We're going to a very distant land. 
Like, pick and pay, cakes, pick and pick and pay, cakes. No, I haven't seen all of it. I'm not like a like fan fan, but I enjoy the show. It's fun. Okay. Oh, yes, I see. Oh wait. Regular Dude, a four show. team TDM um, would be sick. Four yeah, four yeah, team TDM. Oh, I was about to get to that. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I just saw the question. question. Uh, like freaking uh, starting in like the four corners of the games. field. That'd, that'd be, be awesome. Uh, imagine Ooh, four teams. Idea. Four teams playing a uh, domination or any game that you desire. Uh, imagine uh, four juggernauts upstairs trying to kill each other. Um, whatever. Uh, I mean, have fun with that. You could have two juggernauts. You could have two juggernauts. That'd be fun. And oh, imagine juggernaut now, but with two. Like, I mean, I always thought it would be fun for like public sessions if you had two juggernauts instead of just the one. Oh yeah, that's little, true. A little safer. Would you like the juggernaut and the bodyguard are both like you have to kill like, them? Like, yeah, bigger health. Uh, would you? Split it down the middle, 250 health each, or would you make them each 500? No, just keep them both at 500. Keep them both at 500? Yeah. Mm. Because if... If, uh... That means... That opens up a lot, because one Juggernaut could be... Completely offensive, and then the other one could just camp back. And then it, it opens up a lot of windows. Um... Mm -hmm. For, like, new game plans and everything. Yeah, Four so team end of days. Wow, that oh my jeez. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I ain't never seen two hot best friends. The, oh <laughs> my god. Whatever. <laughs> Chris had to break down that meme for me though. <laughs> I really just thought they were just like wrecking some like girls because they can't all be pretty. And I was like, oh, that's man. rude. Yeah, no, I had to walk her through that one. She was like, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're right. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> goofy. <laughs> wow, we're talking about a great movie. Goofy movies, fucking. It's fantastic. Oh. Such an underrated Disney movie. By the way, that was the a very good Goofy you just did. The live action Scooby-Doo was really good. Zoinks. I don't know I about like all it. that, B. I thought I they like were it. okay, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for the original. You know, I like the cartoons. You know what's a good one? Uh, uh the Scooby-Doo, like, El Chupacabra movie. movie that one! Oh! Yo, I gotta say, the soundtrack to that movie? Oh, and Zombie Island. Those two they're, soundtracks? Yeah, they're... Hit being different, bro. They're good. They're their good. trip to Mexico was really... That one song that's like, Viva Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Lit. Lit. Love it. <laughs> that song Love goes it. fucking hard. <laughs> like, I would party to that shit for sure. That's awesome. For sure. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, well, we are coming up on the hour mark yeah. here. Favorite fast food. Yes, we are. We'll do that. We'll yes. do favorite fast food, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap it up here for the week. Ooh, All right. Food. Favorite fast food, Wendy's. Mm. No. Really? Well, huh. it might be. Well, okay. Like consistent, like go to. I know it's gonna be good, Wendy's. Okay, okay. Like favorite fast food, as in like I will always go there no matter what. That's a rough one. Oh yeah. I think for me, um, oh. when are y'all coming always back? When Popeyes. I get paid, bro. Popeyes Freaking. for sure. <laughs> when am I coming back? When I have the vaccine, and I know y'all crusty, musty, dusty asses can't get me sick, that's when. Guess Kidding, what, love you guys, <laughs> But I'm serious. Coronavirus! Safe. <laughs> when I get paid, bro, because I can't no, play with the But no definitely money. Popeyes. Popeyes? Mm. Or, oh, that's a good I'm one. I'm a choke me with a biscuit ass bitch. That's a good one. That's the, that's the type of. That's dirty. That's that's where I'm at. Give it's me some dirty. of them spicy tenders, that blackened ranch. Ooh, little honey on my biscuit. 
The what's it called? <laughs> I'm having a really hard time thinking what I want. Delicious. The seven biscuits, no water, death sentence. Um, freaking. You bury. <laughs> yeah. You bury. <laughs> Babe, what's my favorite fast food? Burger King. But it's not. Yeah, it is. Are you? <laughs> like I can OD on Burger King. I can't OD on Wendy's. What? Like mm. after a while, Burger King stops tasting good. That's any fast food place. It literally doesn't matter. Fast food isn't that good. All right, it's Pizza Hut. Pizza? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yo. Stuffed crust pizza is the fucking bomb. Yes! All right, cool. You cannot tell me that having a pizza and then shoving more cheese in the crust is ever- First of all, mind your business, Burger King is delicious. <laughs> I mean, Burger King does taste good. Hold on, I gotta change my- ugh. Burger Exposure King? Exposure settings. Like, they're burgers? They- Burger King's burgers They're, are delicious. That is a my favorite burger statement. from yeah, Burger King fair. is the Bacon King. Burger King slap, is good. Slap all the bacon on my burger, bro. Oh, you mean the like, fake, the fake uh, Big Mac? I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I do Big, really like yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I do. Pizza Hut shouldn't be classified as fast. Anywhere you could go and get a pizza in under ten minutes, like that's fast it's food. It's fast food. Yeah. It depends on your income. Because I had a I had a person tell me that Outback Steakhouse is fast food, but their stuff expensive. No, that's a full ass really? fucking kitchen. Yeah, no. Yeah. If you if you this like this man's was rich enough to say that like oh it's pocket change. If if the but, burger like, patty goes in anything other than like a microwave or quickly flashed on a grill, not fast food. Not fast food. Yeah, I don't think Outback. That person's wrong. Yeah. That's like that person's raw. Okay, I've been to Outback levels. many times. I don't think I've ever left there in under forty-five minutes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like that place could no, be empty wait, as fuck, and your on. fucking onion rings you are coming out in twenty-five minutes. I feel like fast food should be classified as things that have no, like, because I feel like would you call Starbucks fast food? Yeah. Okay, so like I feel like you they could easily food. classify fast food as it doesn't have a drive-through window, which like pizza doesn't, but. Pizza Hut oh, does not. Domino's now, is not. you gotta be careful though, because then you're getting in the realm of like steak and shake, and I don't consider steak and shake to be fast food. Steak. Oh, steak you and don't. Shake. It is though. It totally no. is. You don't. I don't think so. Why? Really? You literally work there. You see how shitty the food is. Yeah, made. I it's know. It's food. Mm, that is fast. But food. the For setup sure. of the restaurant itself isn't fast food. It's like set up as a diner, which is quick service, yeah, but, but not it fast has food. a drive-through. What about but, Burger King veggie burger? I mean, what are we? Okay. Wait up. St steak and shakes, fast food for sure. Who's been kicked out of a buffet for eating? Not me. For I, fighting? Uh, yes. For fighting? <laughs> for fighting. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry about it. Christopher oh, Brotz Boom Child sure. Boomer. You Overwise, sir. cold stone, fast food or no? Mm -hmm. uh, mm. I mean, I, those wouldn't. I, feel... I, I mean, that's it, not really um, food though. Those are dessert places. Fast food. I mean, desserts of food. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Wait. Real question. Real question here. All right. Follow me. Yeah. Um. Oh shit. Follower. Wait. Hold on. Don't follow me for a second. I gotta figure out how to phrase it. All right. She's mapping it out. Um, Thank you, Christian. <laughs> What's the um, uh? Okay, Liana says I'm with Brad. Steak and Shake isn't fast food. Really? Steak and Shake isn't fast food. Mm -mm. Girl, that shit's nasty. It's nasty as fuck. It's not fast food though. It is fast food though. Like you, you consider like you consider like food. local diner fast food? Because that's what they're based on. It yeah, but I could... that's what you're based on. McDonald's was based on a local <laughs> diner too, but they're fast food. <laughs> like they're corporate fast food. That's not an argument. Yeah, but I could I could drive up to their drive through. If I could my drive up to a restaurant's and window done. and get food through a fucking window, it's fast food. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm 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 staunch believer in this now. This is my this is my opinion. That's and I'm the argument. To it. There it is. No, because like, Denny's, you oh, have to go okay, in and sit down. Megan. Or you have to deliberately order takeout and receive it in a takeout box. Like, you don't go and get a paper bag and a hamburger wrapped, put in the paper bag. 
you get a styrofoam cup for your shake at Steak and Shake, okay? Like, it's a fast food place if I ever seen one. Right, that's what I'm saying. It has a yeah, drive through fast food place. Okay. It's literally set up to be a fast food establishment. It, it is... I would say it is. Thank you. Definitely fast food. Thank you. I want to say, yeah, Thank like, because, like, I could, because I could drive up there. I don't really know if I could even inside, make my point Order better. my food to go. I'll get it in a fast food type of way. Like, of there's getting a difference between if it's just and fast food and it's just low quality food different yeah. you can get low quality Man. food anywhere at any type of establishment if i can drive up to a window and get a burger wrapped in a paper bag it's fast food okay period that's fair but and that's that we haven't <laughs> gone through the favorite one <laughs> have you still not decided your favorite fast food chris or are you sticking with me pizza Hut? I don't know. Yes, but I can't think oh. of anything now. Why? Because the only thing I can think of is the corporate definition of steak and shake, which is quick service. What, what does that have to do with anything? It's just not fast food. It's quick service, but it's like wait, hold quick on. Service, it's like quick fast service, fast food. Diner. It's diner. quick. Fast it's fast. Food. No, definitely like, not fast. I worked there, not fast. Quick service <laughs> diner. <laughs> Fast. No, you want to see steak and shake be slow? Sure quick and fast. Uh, <laughs> if you looked at it from a thesaurus, it would come up as a synonym. Okay. Uh, and like, regardless of a place is set I asked up that question to be one thing my or another, like, do they deliver? No, they don't deliver. All right. DoorDash. Then. Oh. <laughs> McDonald's delivers. Not McDonald's. Like that. <sighs> Sushi delivers. Is sushi uh, fast food? Is no. it? Just because the place delivers doesn't mean it's fast food. Okay, this is devolving. How did this get so far past the point? Steak and shake. That's a. It's a legit question. Is sushi fast food? I I don't know. You're usually typing behind me. Don't know. <laughs> like. <laughs> Steak and shake is a diner style fast food restaurant. Period. Where'd you find that? Hey, look at that. <laughs> Period. Okay. <laughs> Done. Are we finished now? <laughs> <laughs> like, there we go. It's like, it's like being like, I can sit down in a steak and check. You can sit Ooh. down in a McDonald's. Congrats. Not an argument. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Not me being heated over this for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. she found it out <laughs> what are your thoughts on steak and shake specifically in the fast food reddit forum oh i'm just there saying we there we go reddit oh reddit reddit, here, reddit heard it here first okay <laughs> reddit heard it here first <laughs> all right Megan says, okay, there's a bakery I used to live by that had no doors. It was a window in a strip mall type of thing. Is it fast food or not? What do you, wait, okay, so there's this bakery. How fast would you get the no item doors. that you ordered? So when... How fast would you get the item you ordered? That's my number. That's my question to that. Right. Um, oh my God. Number two, if 30 seconds, okay. Fast food. But here's the thing. Just because it's fast food, like there's a lot of good fast food out Ooh, there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just perceiving it wrapped in a paper bag doesn't mean it's bad, but it's happening quickly. It's a fast food establishment. It's the roll up to the window thing for me. If you, if I can roll up to a window and somebody hands me my food into my car outside of the establishment, fast food. Okay. Fast food. Fast food. <laughs> All right, we're we're done with this. And, so, to quote Fox News, we're gonna have to leave it there. <laughs> I'm just laughing so hard. Seriously, it took this conversation. We, we, you know, it was touch and go for a while there, but we definitely got off course. And uh, go. What's what are we talking here? Like you have like, it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Grab and go is its own thing. I like that. We call that looting.
<laughs> you have to pay for it before you take it, though. That's the thing. It's called the five finger discount. Um, I think grab and go is its own thing simply for the fact that you have to. It's called grab and go. You know, it's it's a specific style. You walk up to a place, you grab the things you like, you check out. You know, you don't roll up to a window. You're like number two, put it on the card, receive a bag. Different. You know, there's different transactions happening here. E-commerce yes. people. Is Panera fast food? Panera? Yes. They have not done a yes. fucking fast thing in their entire life. Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't Panera only restaurant style though? Like, if you order it, you have to go in there, pick it up, or it's delivered to you. Yes. Yeah. No. Panera is a restaurant of a sort. Okay. All right. That's it. Uh, Christian, what do you got coming up this week, buddy? <laughs> what do I got coming up this week? Yeah, I'm gonna get when I get paid. I'm gonna buy Cyberpunk. I'm gonna be playing that game a lot. Um, I'm still like, I'm about to flip a coin, see if I want to go to Waikasha, whenever. Um, other than that, <laughs> basically nothing but video, but one video game in particular. Ooh, which uh, video still game? working. Cyberpunk. Oh, when I sorry. buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I fall, when I get it, because everyone's been hyping it up. It's been like, the release has been delayed, like how many times? Um, I have no idea, um, but Tom wouldn't stop talking about it. Now I want to play it. That's basically my thing, uh, but that's basically my week. Awesome. Lots of cyberpunk. Bird, what's your week looking like? My week is looking like, I don't want to talk about it. That's that. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> good times. Um, I guess we'll go on to me. My week is looking pretty interesting. Uh, I got to build a couple decks of magic. Got to uh, continue to write for my D&D &D campaign. Our illustrious group has made it to the first city. Huzzah. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm, I hope I'm doing a good job. It seems like everyone's having fun. So here we go. Um, that is it, I think. Uh, as always. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. That sound bite needs to get fixed. That was tricky. Um, we are going to come back in a week. Uh, we are going to go over some more stuff Yay. for the iCombat community as a whole, hopefully. Uh, I owe a free game to Frankenstein, so I'll get in touch with you this week. Uh, I just have to get it picked up from the store. Um, that's it. We'll be back in seven days on the Wednesday, 8.30 for the pre-show, 9 o'clock for the real show. Uh, remember, guys, if you are going out and playing, please be safe. Continue to uh, take care of yourselves. Hopefully, six months will be done. I know I said this a long time ago, but we actually have some light at the end of the tunnel. So, uh, Have a great night. We're going to go out to the Casino Night Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog. So you guys have a great day. Ooh, and gotta we go will fast. see you in seven days. Yeah, we gotta go real fast. Bye, y'all. <gasps> Sonic from uh, WB Kids. That was also a good show. Um, freaking Shaolin Showdown. Another one of my favorites. Uh, I'm just remembering all these cartoons that used to all be All right, on you're done, Christian. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. All right. <laughs>